everybody on the pro forum. So here's what I want to talk about. Let's discuss the concept of, you know, multiple times over different sections of the pro forum, we've had the conversation about making a living in professional photography, but not relying on prints. Now I'm not suggesting that we get rid of prints because prints are, are, are going to be our hard copies of, of what we do. It's always going to be something that people want, whether it's, um, you know, it, it might be the, the actual hard copies as far as the digital files. It may be videos. It may be all sorts of things like that. So, you know, there's always a, an end product. But just for the sake of conversation, what I kind of wanted to talk about for a little while was what if I want you to imagine, you know, a big cloud comes out the sky and it says no more high school senior portraits. No more wedding photography. No more family photography. No more children photography. No more. What are you going to do to make a living? Are you going to go get a job somewhere? You know, how could we make a living? I'd like a list. I'd like for you to add to my list best you can. So I'm thinking out loud, like one of the things that, that comes to my mind, making a living in professional photography without ever photographing another high school, wedding, baby, or family. How do you do that? Well, the first thing that comes straight to my mind is commercial. I think there are businesses out there who will forever want some kind of photography to enhance their business. Could be real estate agents wanting to enhance the photograph that they have, or maybe we, as, as I've pointed out on several posts on the Pro Forum, ways that we could take the photography the professional photography and turn out a better product, thus making the house sell faster. All right, that could be something. Uh, I think about some commercial entities that has a lot of oil field around where I live. So a lot of these oil field companies could want some of their products photographed. And I could be the guy that goes photograph those products. Uh, it could be maybe hotels that have uh, products. Uh, it could be their ballroom that they want photographed in preparation for a wedding that they could use on their website as marketing and so on and so forth. But all in everything commercial could be political images. People running for office needs images to put on their push cards, their billboards, their uh, website, their email marketing, their social media, so on and so forth. So that's the first thing that comes to my mind right off the back. The next thing is anything and everything that has to relate to do with video. It could be uh, these little commercials that uh, like, um, I think it's, uh, is it Matt, Matt Miller? I think I'm gonna have to go make sure I got the right name. The, the photographer from Houston you, that does these phenomenal videos. He posts on the pro forum, fantastic. I, ju I, I just completely, I watch them over and over and over on the pro forum. I, I, please don't stop posting them by the way. Uh, those things are incredible that you do. Uh, that, that one I watched just recently of, um, a uh, company, an oil field company, and all the different things that they do. I mean, you really, fantastic job. I think there is some more of that that, that could be spread out. I mean, I, I don't know that I have the ability. I'm trying to learn the ability to be that good, to have the different stuff. There's so many little interactive type things that we got to have when it comes to video. It's like multiple camera angles, the right kind of sound, uh, the proper editing tools. Um, you know, the, the little slidey things that handle make the camera slide back and forth, the steady cams, you know, it's just like such a different world and that's okay. I'm, I'm slowly but surely I'm learning it and I'm going to start doing some of these things. So that's an, another thing that I think about. Um, another, I, I'm trying to come up with something else that, that we could, we could do. I mean, there's models, of course, uh, everybody and their brother thinks they're a model. The problem is it just doesn't make a lot of money. So I would like to know an angle maybe there. I, I've, I'd think, for example, I, I shared my angle on models as far as using that as a way of advertising and making just a few bucks here and a few bucks there so as to promote the high school senior and baby and, and family and wedding and all these other type of businesses that we do. But just making a living straight off of models, you know, that's going to be a real specialized type thing. I know like in New Orleans, for example, uh, it, New Orleans is now being called what Hollywood South. So there's this market for um, um, actors and actresses who need headshots. And I've, I've noticed there's been a, an uptick in the amount of that type of stuff that I do. So there's that. Um, 
uh, which kind of to me kind of goes hand in hand with the whole model thing. But beyond that, beyond the commercial photography, maybe doing the uh, headshots for businesses and things of that sort, the video production, the models, I'm wondering your thoughts. Let's hear some of your thoughts about ways that we can make a living as a professional photographer without doing high school senior portraits, without doing wedding portraits, without doing children portraits, or without doing family portraits. Now, I think before I go off of this, I think the, the first thing that's going to come to a lot of people's minds, and a lot of people on the pro forum are doing it, is the volume world. Say, let's attack that. Let's go after the whole volume market. Let's go to the schools. Let's go to the, um, the daycares. Let's go to the the, the cheerleader, the little cheerleader, the independent little cheerleader uh, type organizations and things of this sort. Let's get more and more into this volume world. And I think a lot of photographers have already crossed into that. That's why I kind of did not mention that. But that is one thing, of course, that comes to mind. But let's talk about it. Let's see what we can do because I just see more and more where this is the entry level. This is where the outside world enters the professional photography realm. Seniors, weddings, babies, families. But how can we get away from that and still make a living? Let's talk about it. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.